Hi, today we will see what is API Kit Router and how it simplifies the design and implementation of REST APIs. This API Kit Router generates Mule flows based on RAML or Visital API documentation. And also this API Kit Router takes care of input validation or routing of flows and also it takes care of exception handling. To understand the API Kit Router, let's take an example of the project which is created by importing the API specification. We have the Flight API IMPL project created by importing the Flight EXP API specification. So in the resource folder, we can see the API information. The RAML file is what used for the flows creation. We can see the configuration file where we have main, console and other flows created and this is by reading the information from the RAML file. So let's click on the API Kit Router configuration and in the router configuration we can see the API definition information. This API Kit Router is referring the information from the flight EXP API RAML file. So the API Kit Router will read information from this RAML file and route the incoming request to their particular workflows. So in the main flow, we have HTTP listener, which will listen to HTTP request and API Kit Router will do the validation based on the API specification and also take care of exception handling. And it also takes care of routing the incoming request to their particular workflows. So let's try to call the get flights API and we are getting success response. And this is based on the API specification. So in the API specification, we have the mocked response for the get flights API and which is given as a response to the user. And we have the list of query parameters. And if we don't provide them, API kit router will throw an error. So let's check the API specification. In this, the get flights API has the list of query parameters and origin is one of them. So when origin was not given, API kit router has done the validation, but it failed because the origin was a required parameter and that was not given when calling the API. So let's try to disable the validation. We clicked on disable validation in the API kit a router configuration so when validations are disabled the incoming http request will not be validated against the api specification so let's try to call the api and now we are not getting any api kit error because api kit router is not doing any validation we disable the validation So as of now, API Kit Router is reading the information from the flight exp API RAML file. So if you have any changes in the API specification or if you want to add more APIs or do any changes in the existing uh, API, you can do those changes in the API specification and import that, the latest version. Or let's try to change the API specification here and we'll generate the flows again. So we can add the API or you can do the modification to the existing APIs. So let's try to add the test API. It's a get API and in the response, let's add simple 200 success message. Let's copy the response from other API. Let's align it properly and we'll add the 200 success message. So. We have added the test API, which is not there in the configuration file as of now. And our API kit router is reading the information from the flight exp API RAML file, where we have added a new endpoint. Let's name the API as testing API kit, which is not there in the configuration file. So let's try to generate the flows again. So you can go to mule and click on generate flows. So when we click on generate flows, it reads the definition, API definition, and the flows will be generated based on the API definition, the API specification. 
so api kit router will read the information from the api specification and generate mule flows so now we are in the main configuration file where we can see the testing api kit router flow is generated and we have the success message which we have added in the api specification so let's deploy the application and test it this way you can make changes in the api specification and generate mule flows and api kit router will help us in the design and implementation of rest apis so it reads the information from the api specifications and create mule flows we are able to get the success response for the new endpoint that we introduced in the api specification so this api kit router is reading the information from the raml file and generating the flows and also it takes care of exception handling or routing the incoming request to their particular flows so let's recall what we have learned in this session we have seen how api kit router reads the information from the raml file and helps in design and implementation of rest api which reduces the development effort because api kit router reads the information from api specification and generate mule flows and also it takes care of input request validation and also it takes care of routing the flows and it does the incoming request validation and takes care of exception handling that's it about api kit router thank you